And what I've realized is that hip hop is African American enlightenment. And a lot of, Af it's really human enlightenment, but specifically for African Americans, it's African American enlightenment. Uh, into it knowing, I-N-T-U-I-T, -I -T. into it knowing, into it knowing. This is the knowledge you was born with. This is, some people call it genetic memory. This is the knowledge you was born with. This is the knowledge that nature hands you at the time of your birth. This is the knowledge that colonialism is trying to take from you. Understand the game. The game is you are born perfect, but you enter a system that makes you imperfect through to, uh, due to your perception of yourself. Meaning, you're born perfect, but you don't see yourself in any perfected state in any part of your environment. Perfection and beauty and strength and courage is always the image of the one oppressing you. You are never the symbol of beauty, intellect, courage, knowledge. No, you're never that. What you have to do is put yourself aside and assimilate to a make-believe white mainstream reality, white people included. <clears throat> to be a supreme anything, the more in harmony you are with the universe, the more supreme you become. Why do I bring this up? Because this is how education keeps us mentally enslaved. The words we use, the images that these words give our minds, is what's controlling your perception. You only see according to your vocabulary. The more words you know, the better equipped you are to handle reality. Now let's go deeper. If you could swallow that piece, Perception is based on your knowledge. What is knowledge? Knowledge is awareness. Education is not knowledge. Education is training. We need to be educated in some things. I'm educated in MC. I'm educated to that. I'm trained to that. But that's not knowledge. Knowledge is awareness. What do you know? What, what, what do you see? The only way you can see is with a collection of words. Or so you believe. Ah, uh, let's go deep. <laughs> words create reality. The more words I see, the more reality I can see. But this is how white racism gets us every time, through words. Words are not reality. Words are symbols of reality. Once you can get past English language, you get past English racism. We can't get past English racism because we're speaking English. And the English language words are creating the reality in which we are seeing. This is why when you speak slang language, it upsets white racism. When you don't know how to read or write, you see God. And let me say it this way. When you can look past the symbols of reality and see reality, you see God, you see the activities of God. The reason we have so many atheists in this world today is because they're speaking English. <laughs> this is how hip hop started right here on the spiritual level, on the mental level, changing reality. What is this podium? No, it's not. <laughs> That's what the English call it. What do you call it? This is how hip hop started, just like this. We started renaming everything in the society that was around us. They told us to dance by holding your partner and dance like this. We said, no, we're going to fling her up in the air. It's really, ah. 
Everything they said had value, we rejected it, and that's how hip hop started. The language they gave us, we flipped it. They said dope means stupid or drug. We said dope is the greatest thing in the world. <laughs> fresh was supposed to be you talking back to your parents or fresh fruit, something fresh. We was like, no, fresh is applied to us. We fresh. The fruit is right. <laughs> so this is the consciousness that we dealt with intuitively. We didn't know we were doing this, but we were doing it. What we were doing was getting beyond English interpretation of reality and creating our own reality. And we started with words like chill and chill out. America loved that. When they first heard chill and chill out, that was all, everybody said, yeah, we gotta chill. That's all from hip hop. 